Tonight we are celebrating Western New York with the local premiere of the movie Marshall. That's the film about Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, and it was shot here in Buffalo. A special screening was held at the North Park Theater tonight. Our Erica Brecker was there. She spoke with two of the movie's producers who say they are happy to be back in the Queen City. More than a year ago, the producers of Marshall came to town. Saturday, the Buffalo International Film Festival held the movie's largest premiere event. We knew if any place it was going to be a big deal, it should be in Buffalo. The movie solicited old cars, and that's how Bob Manx's 1935 Plymouth made the cut. He even played the main character's double when driving it. And they put the hat on, and I says, this is too big. And I says, no, it's supposed to be that way. They wanted to rest on the glasses. They were trying to hide as much as my face <laughs> as they could. John Rigney of Second Reader Bookshop said the prop master bought several old books. It was so cool. I mean, we were just over the moon. They stay here and they shop here and they and they, they get to take Buffalo away with them and, and share it with the rest of the country and the world, which is really cool. At the heart of it, Marshall brings attention to a pivotal moment in history. Irene McVeigh, a very special guest at the premiere, helped organize a school walkout in 1951 to bring attention to the inequality in education. The real Thurgood Marshall paid her a visit and helped their case. Are you proud to have a part in history? Yes. It's very personal to me because I saw it. It wasn't something that you read in a funny book, it was something that really was happening. As we've heard before, the crew found unmatched hospitality in the city of good neighbors. In Buffalo, when we parked in, in people's driveways, they would come out of the house with cookies to give to the crew. Now that was unlike any other place we were. More than 600 people attended Saturday's premiere. Now the producers wait and see. I'm kind of waiting to see their reaction after the fact because I think this is an incredible postcard for Buffalo. So the premiere ended just a little while ago. In fact, we still have one of our producers here, some people just enjoying the outside of the North Park Theater. Now, if you didn't make it to tonight's premiere, it opens in theaters this week, October 13th. Live on Hurdle Avenue, Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.